today's hottest music is Hot 103. Your boy Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon once again. Shout out to all the fathers here in the Messiah Valley handling their business and on their job right now, though. It's truly an honor to be joined by the Salas Brothers of Tierra. Welcome on a Sunday afternoon. Thanks for joining me. Happy, happy to be here, man. How you doing? Great to be here, Henry. Thank Real- you, man. First off, happy Father's Day to both of you. Well, thank you. Uh, geez, happy Father's Day. Well, I'm not a father yet, but, uh, but I'm working on it. <laughs> yep, I can. You know? All right. What do you want to say? Thank to- you. Okay. Happy Father's Day to you, too, Henry. And I'm a grandfather, too, a few times. So. And what do you want to say to all the fathers right here in Las Cruces, the 575? Well, I want to say Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. And uh, you know what? My, my, my hat goes out to all of you because, uh, you know, if, if you're a father and you have your kids with you, uh, I, I give you a lot of credit. Because you know what, man? The, the kids need us, and uh, we, we're bringing them up. Hopefully, we're bringing up the right way. So, uh, happy Father's Day. I just want to say, happy Father's Day, treat yourself, going up stay around the golf. <laughs> Yeah, that was all with no kids. <laughs> all right, now I wanted to send a special shout out, Rudy, to your son David Salas, also to Daphne. Um, of course, David, a producer for a lot of Chicano rap artists recently. Him and Daphne got married. Congratulations. That's right. That's not part of being a father. You know, them throwing surprises at us like that, you know, that my, uh, my David comes up and says, hey, I'm getting married, Dad. And I said, oh, great. You know, I go. Uh, I'll tell you, that, that was such a beautiful, such a beautiful wedding. Uh, I'm so proud of uh, David and, and my, my, new, my new daughter-in-law, Daphne, and uh, it's it, it's, it's great. I mean, we, we had a great time. Well, people that weren't there, man, it was such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful service, beautiful right in the Christmas San Pedro right there by the ocean, and uh, they were wonderful, and what a beautiful, lovely couple they made. Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest Rudy Salas, Steve Salas, the Salas brothers from Tierra. Let's go ahead, get into the track together. We'll send it out to David, Daphne, if both of you want to go ahead and do the honors and introduce it. All right. Well, this goes out to David and Daphne on on their uh, probably first uh, month and a half anniversary. This is us together. We hope we want you guys to be together for the rest of your life. And everybody else is in love out there. For you. Right. Tierra together on today's hottest music, Hot 103 on a Sunday afternoon. Today's hottest music, Hot 103, your homeboy Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon. All your favorite Chicano rap, lowrider oldies, and of course your requests and dedications. It's going down though right now with special guest Steve Salas, Rudy Salas of Tierra. Now tell us what it's like being brothers in the music industry. Is there a certain level of competition or did you guys push each other to do better? Oh, what? not at all. <laughs> Off the bridge, <laughs> off the bridge, off the hotel. <laughs> uh, you know what we we uh, you know we're uh, in every situation. Siblings, you know, try to work together. And there's a little pro- there's little problems. We've had our problems. Believe me, I, it's uh, in fact it's probably very it's almost uh, uh, famous. Some of our uh, our uh, our little you know here and there, but we've worked it out and we're working together. We've been together, back together now for going on, how many years now? Oh, seven, eight years? About seven or eight years now working together again, so, uh, and and you know what, from now on, it's, it's gonna, it, that's the way it's gonna be, so we love each other. Man, you know? Yeah, not only that, I think it's healthy, man, that when you, uh, you both it does push each other, you know, right. when you're, when you're uh, um, you know, challenging each other, I mean, it pushes you to be better than you, than you were, so, so it does work in a lot of levels, you know. Now, I know you both listen to On a Sunday Afternoon religiously out in L.A. Um, talk a little bit about what it's like for you when you hear some youngsters dedicating one of your songs on the radio, or even out there in L.A. when you hear them bumping your music. Talk a little bit about that experience and what it's like for you. Well, um, to me, it's an honor. You know, to hear to hear some of the young young you know some of the young people listening to our to our music, and, you know, and, and that's one of the phenomena that's been going on. Here. We've been getting a whole uh, younger audience now coming to our to our concerts. To be able to see this is very exciting for me, and uh, you know, I guess the next generation is starting to discover our music and the whole thing. And you know, right now we're right in the middle of a session that we're doing uh, one of our old songs for. One of the one of the top rappers around right now, uh, Lil Quete, and uh, so uh, we did an old song called "Let It Be Me," and we're doing uh, my brother and I. That's why we're here in the studio right now. So to be able to do this and be able to go uh, to, to a whole different generation is very exciting. For I think one of the things about it, if you go to a Tierra concert, um, you're gonna see three, maybe four generations of people that you see uh, teenagers and you see people in their seventies, and I think that's one of the uh, kind of you know um, a tribute that's right. able to to have that. Um, um, you know, long-lasting effect, you know. 
Exactly. That's longevity, you know. Right and they're all excited when they're there. Man, we have some crazy concerts. Out there. Hey, yeah, and we're very proud of that. We're Bring us to Las Palusas pretty, pretty soon, man. We definitely yeah. got to work that out. Now, growing up, did you guys have the same taste in music, or did you have varying taste in music? Tell us about that. Well, we used to. You know, it, it's funny because our very first influence was um, my mom and, and her brother used to sing at a lot of the family reunions, and they used to sing at rancheras and boleros and, and all that. So that's how we learned how to do our two-part harmony, my brother and myself. And then we started listening to the Motown sound and, and the whole thing. So we have a lot of different influences. Yeah, we even started singing country music at yeah. one time. It was so close to Mexican music. You know, exactly. But as far as uh, William and myself, um, we've all been we've been exposed to pretty much the same uh, uh, influences all our lives, rock and roll, R&B, Mexican music, uh, you know, classical music. So our influences are similar to each other. So like when he hears something, I pretty much hear the same thing and vice versa. You know? exactly. Right now, I know you guys are working with some Chicano rappers as well. Honestly, honest opinion, what do you guys think of, of the Chicano rap and hip hop? <laughs> Silence? No, 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 no. I, I think, truthfully, I mean, I think the Chicano rap scene is very exciting. It's, it's, it's different. Um, I never was a big, I'll be very true, a big fan of rap music until my son kind of brought it to my attention and, and the whole thing. And I see some things that are very, very innovative and uh and i'm excited to be a part of it i think both are well you know i you know i think the fact is if, if they're talking singing rapping about love as opposed to hate yes i'm all i love the music but i think that was the one thing the confrontational uh and the anger thing was one thing that i didn't appreciate but you know we could turn it around and make it a positive thing yeah and it's and it's about life and and uh you know the, the good and the bad come out, out on that and uh so i think you know in general we used to do the same thing when we used to do our, our old protest songs you know talk about some of the some of the you know the, the struggles and, and the whole thing and so i see it still happening now even in the hip-hop and the uh, uh the rap scene. check out barrio street <laughs> yeah <laughs> Exactly, Barrio Street, the song that we would, and that was our form of rap back then. You know, we were talking about how, you know, the conditions of, of living in the barrio and, the, and, the, and, and how, you know, how Latinos have been struggling all these years and, and, and the police and the whole thing, too. So we were kind of doing the same thing in a different uh, musical form. Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest, Steve Salas, Rudy Salas, the Salas Brothers at Tierra. We got more to talk about first, though. Here's Tierra with Stop, Look, and Listen on today's Hottest Music, Hot 103. Today it's hottest music hot 103 your homeboy henry g here with you on a sunday afternoon very special father's day edition of the show special guest rudy salas steve salas of the group tierra now at this point in your career what are some of your goals what are you still hoping to accomplish also what's the message you're trying to get out there to listeners and fans and what keeps you in the studio and hungry from day to day loving music i mean uh when me i mean for me i, I speak for myself uh rudy uh basically I still love playing music, and that's the main thing. I, I do this for love of music, not for not for the money, obviously, <laughs> not, and, uh, and 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 any, any of the other uh, reasons that I did it when I was younger. It's mainly because I love playing music, and, and uh, uh, the passion is still there. As long as you still have passion for music, uh, that's it, all that is going to come with it. And uh, it's when you when you find when you get burned out, and you finally say, "Yeah, I'm, I'm done with it." You know, that's when people. Uh, stop doing it but as long as i still love the music uh, i'm gonna keep doing it and my case is steep i you know i look at it like um the older you get you know the more you can talk <laughs> say whatever you want you know because people gotta respect you or at least not fight with you and i think um uh, we can go any way we want now with our music you know you can you can try you can experiment you go over you don't have to be part of the inside that box no more uh the older we get i think the, the more you get you have that luxury of experimentation and that's what i want you were out here in Las Cruces about a year ago for the whole enchilada fiesta. What do you want to say to all your fans right here in the 575? Bring us back. We, <laughs> we love it out there. Um, you know, this, it was actually like two years ago that we were out there, and uh, it's time it's time for Tierra to go back to New Mexico. So, uh, you know, we, we want to get with a hint out there. I mean, we have a lot of fans, and we have a lot of friends out there, and plus I, plus I think we have some family out there, too. So we want to get back to Las Cruces again. So, you know, it's Bring us back if you get a chance. <laughs> we bring Mario Esparza back with us. Yeah. <laughs> now, earlier on, you were telling us that you two were working together again. Tell us what you have coming up, what you're working on, and what Tierra fans can expect from the two of you 2013 and beyond. Well, we got the, we got the new CD, as we, we mentioned, the new, Tierra, the, the new Tierra CD that's out now. And, uh, and actually, a couple of the songs that are in uh, on the album 
were from a, an album that a uh, CD that my brother and I were working on, a Solid Brothers CD. One is called Dreaming. It's great, a great song that my brother Steve wrote. And another one was uh, uh, also an old remake of, of the Young Rascals uh, tune, uh, People Gotta Be Free. And um, so, you know, it's great. We're having a great time doing it. Yeah, and, you know, I think down the line, of course, uh, we've, we've always been wanting to do it. With, and I'm sure we're going to get to a Salas Brothers album, probably an unplugged kind of album. But for right now, we're really, really going to get behind this new TRL. Right. You know, the other thing, too, I want to mention is that, you know, I had... To me, this is like a dream come true also because I was able to bring in David, my son David, and my daughter Rita on this album too. And David wrote three of the songs. And uh, man, I'm just, to me, it's, 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 I'm living my dream, you know, doing this. And I just want to mention that it's, you know, if, if you want to, uh, you know, you want to hear the, the parts of the album, the samples of the album, and the whole thing, it's go to sierramusic.com. That's our, our website. Or or the Sierra, uh, my page, I'm sorry. My page. Facebook. Facebook. There's no my page anymore. It's Facebook. Sierra Facebook. So if, uh, and Twitter. There you go. So, uh, so check it out. You guys get a chance. Today's hottest music. Hot 103. Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest, Steve Salas, Rudy Salas, Tierra. We're about to get into a brand new song, Give Me a Sign. Before we do, is it true you guys really get together on a Sunday afternoon out there in LA and bump on a Sunday afternoon on Hot 103 online? All the time, bro. All the time. You're, you're one of our heroes, man. <laughs> One of our influences, so uh, we know we love we love listening to your, your show, and I want to thank you for your support throughout the years, Henry. Uh, I really uh, sincerely want to thank you for for always uh, you know playing Sierra and supporting us throughout the years, and and uh, with some of the posts that I see on your Facebook uh, all the time. And uh, thank you so much uh, for supporting us, and for also for supporting my son David. Too. See? I just want to thank you, man. You said everything right there. Thank you so much, Las Cruces. Thank you, El Paso, right too, because that's for my and thank you, uh, you know, anybody in Mexico, Tejano, whatever it is. We're lucky to still be doing this. And thank you for all your contributions over the years as well. Right here to on a Sunday afternoon on Hot 103 in Las Cruces. Here it is. Give me a sign. Tierra. Today's hottest music. Hot 103.